Hi and welcome to video 12 of our series on differential equations. This is unit 4, topic 2, specialist mathematics. I'm going to be talking to you about related rates in video 12 right through to video 15. So we'll be breaking this one right down. But there are a few different components that we do need to deal with. Uh, so let's consider related rates. And related rates is to do with if you're trying to find a differential. So in this case down here, you can see I'm suggesting I might want to find dy dx, but I don't know y in terms of x, so I don't have a differentiable relationship. Um, but let's say I do know du dx and I can find dy du. Well, I could use that chain rule related rates idea in order to develop an understanding of what dy dx looks like. Maybe I'll get dy dx in terms of u, or maybe it's x, or maybe it's y, I don't really know. Depends on the situation, really. Um, if in this situation we were told that du dx was equal to 7 and dy du was equal to 2, well then dy dx would be equal to 7 times 2, which is 14. And you can see, if you break this down, you say, well, if u is changing as per x based on a, a factor of 7 and y is changing as per u on a based on a factor of 2 well then y must be changing as per x by a factor of 14 um, and so that sort of related rate works quite nicely now they're not normally this nice but they're pretty close and it's not a bad little topic this so let's have a look a simple example um, a water puddle's area is circular and increasing at a rate of 30 centimetres squared per second. At what rate is the radius of the circular puddle increasing when the radius is 10 centimetres? So I'm asked, I'm asked for at what rate is the radius of the circular puddle increasing? So that is going to be a dr dt. That's what I'm trying to find. So I'll just zoom in on this. dr dt is what I'm trying to find. I'm told that the area is increasing at a rate of 30. So therefore I know that dA dt is equal to 30. So if I knew dA dt, or if I know dA dt and I need dR dt, well, all I really need is dR dA. dR dA would give me that chain rule relationship and allow me to find dR dt from dA dt. Now, I don't know dR dA initially, but I do know it's a circular puddle, and I know that the area of a circle is pi r squared which means that dA dr is equal to 2 pi r and therefore dr dA is equal to 1 over 2 pi r because I've just reciprocated. So this becomes 30 times 1 over 2 pi r and I can write that down as 15 over pi r and we're asked to find the rate of change that the radius of the circular puddle is increasing when the radius is 10. So I put 10 in and it will give me my answer. And so the answer is equal to 15 over 10 pi centimeters per second, which is 3 over 2 pi or however you want to write it. I'm going to leave it like that. Um, so that's the end of video 12. Thanks for listening.